Hi again, Britt Fifth Six. So this week we're going to write a research paper. We're going to write a report and um, we are writing it about, excuse me, we're writing it about a man named George Washington Carver. Okay? He was an African American man who just had an amazing mind for science and he uh, after the Civil War, he really wanted to help the South, and so he thought of tons of ways to be able to use the crops that they could grow in the South uh, so that they, they would have a good market to sell these things and, and make more money for these farmers who knew how to, to farm only these certain uh, plants. A lot of it has to do with the peanuts. So uh, you have a language packet today that's going to carry you through all week, okay? And so each day, I've got a list for you on the very top of what you're to do. So this goes for each day, gives you an item to do for each day, okay? So Monday, your very first thing, you're going to read this think and plan, how to think through and plan a report, and you're going to then um, read the article, for George Washington Carver, okay? As you're reading it, I want you to highlight or underline anything that stands out to you as interesting. So anything that you think is interesting, I want you to highlight um, so that you can know it for later, okay? So that's all you have to do for Monday. You're just gonna read the information, read about George Washington Carver and highlight what to do. On Tuesday, you're going to reread you need to read that article at least twice to understand that information, okay? So we're gonna reread that encyclopedia article and this time you're going to use this page 228, this back one right here, to make an outline about his life. I've given you a packet that has paper, a, a blank piece of paper that I'll tell you about later, and binder paper. So use the binder paper you're gonna make an outline like you did about your life story, but this time it's about George Washington Carver. So you're gonna write early life, birth, and it asks number one, when, and number two, where, okay? So when was he born and where was he born, okay? B is family. You're gonna write who his family is, okay? C says education. You're gonna write what kind of education did he get? Did he go to school? Did he teach himself? Did he go to college? What did, what, how did he learn, okay? D, you're gonna write childhood experiences. What happened in his childhood that helped him? Was he a slave? Was he in the Civil War? Was he free? Was he a farmer? What happened in his childhood? Was he, did he have his mom and dad? Who did, you know, what, what happened in his childhood, okay? Then you're gonna, E is special interests or hobbies. What kind of things did he like to do? Okay. F is influences. Who influenced him? Did he have any grown-ups or teachers in his life that influenced him, that he looked up to or that he learned from? Uh, G says marriage and children. So if the article tells who he married or what, how many children he had, what their names were, you're going to write that there. Okay. Then you're going to follow letter... Num Roman numeral two, achievements, accomplishments. What did he accomplish in his life? What things did he discover or invent? What were his accomplishments? B says character traits, okay? So number one says incidents which show his character. Remember, character is who you are. Kind, honest, loving, hardworking, um, uh, determined, those kind of things. So you're going to write down some incidents which show his character. And then number two, you're going to write other people's opinions about him. So did they have any opinions about him? Did anyone say what they thought of him? Um, what they thought he was like? Okay. And then you've got later, later life. What were his contributions to society? That means how did he help other people? How did he help the whole world or a whole area like with his growing discovering all the ways to use peanuts and soybeans okay uh, what were his later life activities does it say any activities that he participated in when he was when he was older 
Um, are there were there any honors or awards given to him when he was when he was older at the end of his life? And then the last one is his death. Uh, not the last one, second to last one, his death. When did he die? Where did he die? How did he die? Okay? And then E says lessons we can learn. So is there anything we can learn from George Washington Carver? Um, maybe something about hard work, maybe learning about how it's important to help other people, you know, those kind of things. What can we learn from him? Okay? If you get stuck on any of these things, please call me. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you to figure out what these points are, okay? So that's Tuesday, all right? On Wednesday, you're gonna use the outline to write a rough draft. So you're going to, um, you're going to skip every other line on your paper and you're gonna write out the information like in paragraph. This, this should be parts of sentences your outline is going to be paragraphs. Number one is going to be one paragraph. There should be enough information to have uh, five, six, seven, eight sentences about his early life. Number two, achievements, is going to be a second paragraph. You should have enough information about what he did, and later life is a third paragraph. So you're going to have three paragraphs in this report, okay? Now, on Thursday, you're going to go through your rough draft, preferably with your parent, and you're going to check and see if you have any grammar or spelling errors. Now, if you're having a hard time with your parent that day or if your parent isn't home, I don't mind if you shoot me a text or an email of your, of your report. I'll help you proofread it. I'll help you look for errors and we can go through it that way. So Thursday, all you're doing is making notes of changes, okay? So remember, if remember our proofreader's mark, if there's something you need to capitalize, it gets three lines, right? If it's something that's supposed to be lowercase, you write an LC. If you need to add something in, you do that sign. If you're supposed to take something out, you circle it and swoosh it off. And if it's spelled wrong, so like if you spelled fat wrong, you can write SP or you can cross off the wrong word and spell it right above okay so make the marks you're not actually going to make the changes you're just going to make the marks on thursday okay and then on friday you're going to write your final draft now you need to remember your final draft is your absolute complete and utter best writing ever needs to be neat needs to be careful no mistakes remember how we did our reports last year on the planets okay very very careful very very neat and now on the front of the blank paper on Friday, you're going to draw a picture of something that George Washington Carver made out of the peanut butter or the soybeans, okay? So you're gonna draw a picture of that. It can be um, any one of the things listed in his thing, okay? But here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna write his name neatly on the top, George Washington Carver, you might need two lines, and then on the bottom, it's gonna say, by your name, by Olivia McCartney, by Ryan Tussey, by Rena Ingram, okay? Your name on the bottom, your picture in the middle, and the title, George Washington Carver on the top. You might wanna do George Washington Carver. You might even want his name to take up three, okay? This needs to be your best, it needs to be nice, it needs to be colored in, okay? And then you're gonna take this and all your other papers stapled together. So the order you're gonna have is you're gonna have your picture on top, your final report right under your picture, then your rough draft under your final report, and then your outline under that. So this is on top, this is the second page, this is the third page, this is the fourth page. Okay, and that's how you're going to turn it into me because I want to see the whole process. The outline, the rough draft, the final, and the picture. Okay, so that's how it goes. Again, if you have any questions, please call me. If you're not sure what to do, if you can't proofread it, if you get stuck on finding an answer for your outline, I have no problem calling and talking and uh, walking you through this. Okay, so that's what I'm here for. This isn't always the easiest thing, and I understand that. So that's why I'm saying... 
I'm completely here for you. All right, so just let me know if you have any questions, but this is gonna be really good. because When you get into the bigger grades, you're gonna to need to know how to write a report. A lot of high school is gonna be writing reports. Almost all of college is writing reports. So this is gonna be very good for you.